Hi guys, we are in the 11th week and this week what we're going to do is something like this. It's a project about op art. It's really, really cool. It's, it's one of my favorites. And at the same time, we're going to talk about camouflage in nature. And um, this is an art, um, a camouflage in art if you want. The one in the left here is made with color pencils and the one in the right is made with markers. Now, as you can see, there is a shade around the fingers in both hands. <clears throat> and we're gonna do those shades with um, color pencils. So mine, the one I'm gonna do on my paper here at home is gonna be with markers. And it's gonna be super, super easy. What are you gonna do, as always, you're gonna trace our hand. Now you make sure you trace first with the pencil so we don't make too much mess because if you do with marker, you're gonna get dirty. So I trace my hand and then after that, I'm gonna start doing the lines. Then I'm gonna make a curvy line just to simulate this is part of the, uh, my arm and I'm gonna go all the way until I finish all my paper. Okay, here is mine. I already finished doing my lines. Now, what I'm gonna do, I, I'm thinking to use kind of like a complementary colors. Yes. And then I'm gonna start just coloring one by one. I know you're gonna say, oh, that's too much work. If you don't wanna do with markers, you can do with color pencils. If you don't wanna do with color pencils, you can do with crayons. There's no excuse for this. Mine already finished. I trace it with kind of complementary colors. Uh, it kind of shows the hand, but it doesn't show completely. So what I want to do is add a little bit more of detail. Now for those little details I was talking about, I'm going to use color pencils. I'm going to use a little bit of black just to trace a little, little bit. You don't have to do too much, just a tiny little bit around the hand. And you still can see a little bit because the, the a regular pencil, the traces of the regular pencil is still there. And then you just can shade a tiny bit. It doesn't have to be too much. Just a tiny bit so it shows a little bit like your hand is hidden over there and it gives the illusion. Don't forget because of art is everything about illusion uh, of a, a camouflage. Now, if you have a white color pencil, what you can do in the parts you think is the highest point of that hand you can highlight a little bit. You can do six lines like this. Now my color pencil is not that good. The quality is not that good. Just to show a little bit of the um how you call this one? The highlight and the areas where it's more light. Now I can use also a color to do the shades. It doesn't have to be necessarily black color. You can use in this black, a uh, blue area, I'm sorry, like a blue. The same thing in the, in the areas that are a little bit red, I can make the color a little bit darker. It's unnecessary using the white pencil, the black pencil, I'm sorry, geez, I'm confusing the colors now. Can't write that. And this is your op art. Have fun. Okay, as I was telling you, this week we're gonna do some op art, some uh, something like this, and I'm gonna show you in a few seconds mine. Um, 
But something I forgot to mention in my previous video about our op art is our keywords. And I'm gonna go to the letter O. Op art is here. Op art is a short for optical art. It's a style of visual art that uses optical illusion. Mm? Usually they are abstract, see? Um, and as far as the, the, all this, um, I'm sorry, all this terminology, you can find a mostly of art in a black and white pattern. Mostly are geometric. And this is something funny about this one because every time I look at this picture, then after that, if, if you look for, um, I don't know, maybe 60 seconds, which is one minute, and your eye and your brain is going to get so confused and you're going to think that the picture is moving, but the reality is not. Now, don't forget to watch the video. Also, I put it on my, um, on my website. So you're gonna see the video where it, it, this couple explains so nicely about what is an op, what is op art, and and also um, all the difference and how to make a hand if you don't want to watch mine. So it's it's really really cool. Okay, I guess my internet is kind of slow right now. Okay, here it is in fourth and fifth grade. It's a couple of videos you can watch besides my video. Um, first of all, what is the op art? It's really cool. And the other one, about camouflage, because this art it looks almost uh, it is like it has the same concept as a camouflage, and you can ask your science teacher also. If this one looks like a camouflage, I'm most likely she's gonna say yes. Yeah.